Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and we have finally completed the last and final third Kobe that I've been awaiting. And these are the Kobe Pro Show 6s. They're known as the Italian Camo. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up today we're going to be talking about the third kobe that released on mamba day i definitely was ecstatic to get this one because i would say this was definitely by far the most limited out of the three so the four pro tro release which was known as the Philly, as well as the eight, which was the Venice Beach. And now we have the Italian camo. We'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really cool camo uh, out sneaker. And then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. For those of you who are camo fans, and especially for those of you who like wearing basketball sneakers as lifestyle sneakers, I personally think that this was one of the best of the three renditions that was brought back. Uh, so as far as the inspiration goes i actually didn't realize that kobe was fluent in italian uh, but just a little bit of backstory so his father actually played in italy he actually uprooted and moved his whole family out there which makes sense as to why he was fluent in italian uh, so this is definitely reminiscent of some different italian pieces such as the italian military which is where you're getting the camo on the upper here and then we've got the crimson hues which you'll see on the top for kobe's logo which is in that crimson red crimson red as seen on the italian flag as well as being representative of how passionate the italians are for basketball is why they decided to go with that pop of red hue which i think really pops quite nicely off of the black tongue here and then we've got some nice simple just black laces so let's take a look at those details then jump into the side paneling Wrapping around to the side panels again, more of that crimson red on the swish mark and then more of the camo, which you'll see is also on the lateral as well as that medial side. As we work our way back, this is where we're getting more of that nice camo green tone. And then Kobe's uh, signature is in that red. The interior is in red, white, and black. And it says, I want a shot on the inside in white as well. Then when we work our way down to the midsole, we've got that nice camo green and black with the nice zoom tech and then on the bottom we've got just different shades of a lighter green and darker shade of that olive green finish with the red as well all right so let's take a look at those last and final details
far as size and fit goes, I actually went half a size up in these. I do feel like, again, this is just such an amazing basketball sneaker. Again, I will say this time and time over and over, this is by far one of my favorite indoor basketball or volleyball sneakers to play in just because I feel like it fits my foot perfectly, especially since I have narrow feet. But I do feel like these run a little bit on the smaller side of things, being that it's very narrow and shallow in the toe box. So if you have wider, flatter feet, definitely take that into consideration when trying to find the best fit for yourself. All right, so now let's jump into styling. So I decided to go all out with this one just because I think out of the three colors, this is definitely the most transitional for a lifestyle option. So for the first look, I decided to just keep it pretty monochromatic with a pair of leather brownish blackish shaded pants with a matching uh, leather jacket. Seen it all, you can been a fit for talk. I can't fall in love with you. Seen it all, you can't all been a fit Fan for talk. I can't fall in love. I decided to wear a olive toned button down cropped long sleeve shirt to match the olive hues of this with some nice cargo brown shaded pants. Whiskey in my head, penny in a cupboard. If you want it, I'm the same. You can have whatever, just don't ask me about a plan. Let's avoid the topic, benefit from being friends. We can't be together, but that body like a bench. That black on the rim. I know that you're poison, baby. Let's not play pretend. This ain't gotta end. Yeah. You're so dangerous. Tell us, us, I can tell you. You will bear real bad, broad, but seen it. And then for the last and final look, decided to wear a knitted uh, quarter zip top that had some green hues to it with some light green pants. You can all been a fit to fend for top. I can't fall in love with you. Seen it all. You can't all been a fit Fan for talk. I can't fall in love with you. Bad follows you like a shadow. So as far as retail goes, these retailed at $190. And again, out of the three options, this was the most limited, which makes sense as to why the resale value on these is so crazy right now. So these are actually reselling for around $300 to $500. So congrats to anyone who was able to cop a pair of these. Definitely let me know in the comments if you were able to get a pair of these or if you were able to snag a pair of the Phillies or those Venice beaches. And also let me know which is your favorite out of the three. We'll be doing a kind of recap overview of the three different silhouettes. And then I will go through and talk to you about which one I personally love the best and why. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. Again, hit that subscribe on your way out and give this video a thumbs up. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you on next episode.